Okay, Johnny, uh, Zane here coming from you from West Coast. Uh, I apologize. I wanted to get this video to you a little bit sooner yesterday. I uh, just got a little bit tied up yesterday. My team uh, is all out for the holidays. So this one's all me. So uh, on top of that too, I just wanted to make sure I got a chance to actually detail the car so we could actually see the car in its true condition, uh, as well as when I detail the vehicle as opposed to having my detailed team do it. it gives me the opportunity to actually see the car uh, and any imperfections so I can point them out to you while we're on video and save you some uh, some uh, some uh, some time when you come actually see the vehicle in person. Uh, so I'm going to turn the turn the camera around here. Now, uh, without further ado, I'm going to let you go ahead and take a look at it. So here we are. It's 2017 Acura MDX. Okay, this is her in all its glory. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start from the rear of the vehicle here. We're going to take a look at all the paint, the rims, the tires, all of that good stuff. So taking a look down the side of the vehicle, we can see that the paint is in very good condition. We're getting some mirroring off of it. One of the things that's nice about Acura, they're very good quality paint installers. Um, they keep things simple, uh, keep things light. We're gonna start with the front tire here. Check out the rims. Again, it seems to be a common problem with cars that are pre-owned. Uh, some people out there like to use the, the touch and feel parking method and uh, often create some gouges in some rims. So this one looks pretty good. Uh, as far as tires go, actually this cell looks like brand new tiring. So uh, treads all brand new tires look like they're actually brand new here so that's perfect uh we're gonna move around to the rear here this is this side here uh as far as quality of this room goes it looks like we're in good shape as well uh no imperfections on this one same thing brand new tire uh, we're moving to the front of the vehicle here let's take a look at the hood uh first though we're gonna take a look at the windshield um comments make sure we take take a look for cracks and dings and chips it doesn't look like we have any of those in the windshield for moving to the hood, it's very easy to tell whether the vehicle was uh, was owned in the city or on the highway. Um, considering it's low mileage, it's pretty obvious that the vehicle was uh, was highway driven, or sorry, city driven. Uh, as far as imperfections go, we have a few minor ones. Uh, if we're taking a look here, there's one tiny, tiny, tiny one here. It's gonna be a little difficult to get the, the zoom to work in on something like this small. All right, there's one there, very small one there. And lastly, there's a small imperfection here. All of it's been paint filled, so it should avoid any issues of, of cosmetic rust, rust issues or anything like that. But, oh, sorry, I'm doing this one here, just right there, so. All right, down to the bumper here. Another thing to always check when you're taking a look at a vehicle of this style, these chin spoilers tend to be a little bit lower and a little bit more protruding. So sometimes uh, there's issues with them getting cracked or scraped or dinged on any type of a curb or a, a parking stall stop. Uh, this one has no issues there. It's very clean and, and has no scraping underneath or any dings or dents that we need to worry about. Moving on to this side of the vehicle, uh, we notice right away, we're taking a look down the side, no issues with scrapes or dings or dents. Again, we're getting very, very good mirroring with that paint. Front rim, typically it's the front that you see issues with. So we're actually seeing on both rims in the front, actually all those rims are so far uh, perfect, okay? Moving down to the side here. Actually, before I get to the last rim, one of the things that I also ask customers to keep an eye out for, these trim pieces here can indicate whether their car has been parked inside or outside. These types of uh, chrome pieces are not true chrome. They're actually coated plastic. So a lot of times when they're baking out in the sun, you'll see a lot of bubbling and discoloring and issues there. So this car has none of that whatsoever. A lot of times too with the handles as well, because those are high traffic or high use. Um, so it's always good to see that. Looks like this vehicle was well maintained. We're on to the last rim now. You take a look on the side here. And it looks like we have a small one. We have two actually. Very small here. And then down just to the bottom of this rim here where we're at. We're taking, taking a look at this and we see this right here. But very, very minor again. All brand new tires on this, so looks pretty good. To the back of the car, we always take a look at the side corners here. This is a lot of times where people uh, maybe miss, the, miss their turn, maybe don't take it a little wide, and they end up bumping into something here. So that's that's good. This side appears to be in good shape as well too. No scrapes, no dings, no bruises, no bumps. We're going to a high traffic area. This is important. We always want to take a look at the bottom sill here because a lot of times when you're bringing things in and out of this, that's very heavy. You're going to see a lot of scratching. And as a matter of fact, this is very rare to see. There's no dings, there's no scrapes, there's no scratches. Even on the chrome piece here, extremely minor for what is there. Looks to be in very good shape. So we're gonna head into the inside of the vehicle here. Let's start with the front. 
Again, high traffic area. We want to take a look at the sill plates. Right, make sure there's no big gouges or scrapes or dings, things that might cause uh, issues with rusting down the road. Everything seems to be in a very, very good condition. As a matter of fact, it looks like the protective coating for the sill plate is still actually on it, which is perfect. Seats, high traffic in and out. A lot of times the bolstering has issues with uh, heavy, heavy cracking or splitting. It doesn't look like we're getting any of that. Just getting a standard uh, wear creases that, uh, that come naturally on vehicles as they expand or stretch over time. This is what the interior looks like. Passenger seat, infotainment system here. Black with the walnut inserts. It looks very, very good. We're gonna go to the headliner here. Just double check to make sure there's no staining or issues there. All looks to be pretty good. Moving to the rear. Same thing, high traffic area. We'll take a look at the wheel sill plates. A lot of times you can tell right away if this back seat was ever even really used. Doesn't appear like it has very much wear at all. So I would say if it was, it was very minimal. All right, rear climate control, obviously being a seven passenger, that's important for the people in the third row. All right, so that concludes it. This is the full walk around video of the MDX. I hope you like it. Um, obviously one of the things I've always mentioned when it comes to purchasing a vehicle, driving it's the final thing and likely the most important. Uh, it seems like you have some familiarity with the with the brand already, uh, but uh, the vehicle is going to be parked inside for the remainder of the week. Uh, it'll be ready for a potential test drive should you want to move forward. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are. I'm looking forward to hearing from you very soon and uh, I hope you have a very good New Year's as well. We'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.